Hi, it's DeWire, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk basketball, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. In the Western Conference right now, you're getting a offer on the futures market that I don't believe you can refuse. It's the Los Angeles Clippers at a plus 200. You heard right. A plus 200 to simply win the Western Conference. At issue is whether they can get by the Los Angeles Lakers. Right? What I want people to understand is even if the Lakers, the current one seed in the West, get home court, it doesn't really matter against the Clippers because the Clippers and the Lakers share the same home court. Right? The Clippers, if they make it to the Western Conference Finals and if they play the Lakers in Los Angeles, they wouldn't change the venue. The Clippers would be playing someplace where they play all their home games. You just saw the Clippers in their last game against the Houston Rockets. The Rockets knew small lineup. The game was in Houston. Folks, it was a mismatch. Right? It was a mismatch. This Rocket team as it's currently put together, in my opinion, can't beat the Clippers if the Clippers are healthy. That's the other thing to consider. Paul George was out for a huge stretch of the season. Right? The Clippers have engaged in load management. Kawhi Leonard has taken off games. You know, that's not going to happen deep in the playoffs. How many more games would the Clippers have won had they been healthy? Right? Understand, as unhealthy as they've been, and their starters have rarely played together all year, the Clippers are still the two seed in the West. As I was watching the Rockets game yesterday, it dawned on me that the Clippers have several defensive stoppers. Understand, James Harden, to me, is one of the very best scorers in the league. He's one of the very best players in the league. But yet the Clippers are that rare team where they could put two different superstars on him. Right? Kawhi Leonard, who's an absolute defensive stopper. Or Paul George, who's an absolute defensive stopper. Understand, they have some other guys. Montrez Harrell, who are spectacularly defensively. Right? They're great defensively. Now, I know there's a big push in Lakerland for Anthony Davis to be named the Defensive Player of the Year, right? But understand, the Lakers aren't a blessed defensive team. LeBron, at the end of the day, is 35. Has anyone kept track of LeBron's free throws? Folks, he's been struggling from the free throw line. The Lakers don't have the depth today that the Clippers have, and understand, there are reports that Yannick Noah, an excellent defender, a big man who knows how to clog up the passing lanes deep in the paint. There are rumors that he's going to join the Clippers. So unlike the Lakers, where you're getting short odds, you're getting a plus 200 on the Clippers at a time when they're all healthy <clears throat> and they're crushing teams like Houston in Houston, right? I'm just telling you, late in that game, the Clippers had a more than 20-point margin, started playing backups. As wide as that game ended, the game could easily have ended wider. 
I like the Clippers at plus 200 <clears throat> to come out of the Western Conference. I don't think Denver, Utah, or Houston is going to keep them from the Western Conference Finals. Let me also say that if they make the Western Conference Finals, <clears throat> you should be able to hedge because the line will have collapsed. Understand, this isn't for them to win the title. This is for them to win the conference. So that plus 200, if they make the Western Conference Finals, even if they're an underdog, and I doubt they would be. And let's be real, they'd be playing at home. Right? That plus 200 would collapse to something like a plus 125 because the only team that they would be underdogs against possibly would be the Lakers. More of a reputational thing, a LeBron James MVP candidacy thing than a reality. Right? So I like the Clippers here at plus 200. I think you're getting compelling value on them to win the Western Conference Finals. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.